Hello everyone and welcome back to our new episode of our Adventure Day quest calendar from Sundial Games 2024's The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Now this is going to be a little bit different and uh, because we're going to have every single day for the week in one long video instead of one a day. Uh, this is due to the last week I was sick and I couldn't upload every single day, which I apologize. So we're going to try this new format. And I may try changing things around in the layout as well. So let me know what you think and how you like it and all that stuff. Um, you can always let me know down below. Um, also, if you're liking these videos, make sure you like it. And uh, if you want to know when more of these come out, make sure you hit that subscribe button as it helps our small channel grow. Uh, we are trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year. And I know with all of your help, we can do it. So I really appreciate it. Uh, now for last week, uh, for those who may not have seen it or checked it out, you can always check the link above, but we started going through the lost woods and we found some traveling people who ended up getting lost. There's a big shadowy dude flying above us and it turned out to be a giant owl that we had to fight. He took some of the people. Uh, we got lost a little in the woods on our way to Harkin Run where we found a giant barn. We explored it a bit and we found a couple of our lost companions, but not all of them. And that brings us to the beginning of this week. Now, uh, like I said, this is just going to be one longer video where it's going to have all seven days. We're going to start with Monday and end on the Sunday lottery. Also, we're going to have the, uh, I'll have the vote down for which dice we should use for the next week. So, uh, stay around and let me know what you think and hope you enjoy this more longer form. Starting our week off for Monday, April 1st. Uh, through a solitary ray of light, a shadowy figure appears in a, the tranquil darkness. Elderus, you speak with hesitation. I have long distanced myself from your world. You little critter, show great courage volunteering to seek the wise owl what makes you deserving to share words with me your bravery intrigues me perhaps i shall entertain this rare encounter if you can survive my riddles i shall grant you an audience so i accidentally ripped off the back so we'll do this a little bit differently the low and Scratchy voice, Elderus poses to you the following three riddles. Consider your answers wisely. Once you have your guesses, check against the solutions at the bottom of the page. Yeah, for each riddle you do not answer correctly. You begin to writhe with immense pain as a loud gong sound echoes in your head at the incorrect answer. So that's only if we get it wrong. Riddle one. Light as a whisper, but not merely air. A trace of sky with beauty rare. In the wind, I might drift or tether an artist quill a bird's warm weather or bird's warm weather. I bring flight, but never fly. I all, always high, but not in the sky. What am I? I mean, my first guess would be a feather. It's got to be a feather, right? So we're going to answer one. A feather. Sweet. Got that right. Riddle two. In many a creature, you'll find me within. Strong and steadfast, under fur, feather, I'm guessing bone, feather or skin. Structure in silence, no voice of my own. Yet without me, no movement is shown. Okay, it could be muscle. Not seen, not heard, but always known. What am I that's never alone? Um, strong and steadfast. I'm going bone. Bone or muscles. All right, so I was close. And then riddle three, I creep upon you, quiet as a whisper. No foe, no friend, just a constant visitor. I'm guessing shadow. I'm felt in places and in palaces and in slums, only sated by what to the mouth comes. Never seen nor touched, but always under. What am I that gnaws like thunder? I creep upon you, quiet as a whisper. No foe, no friend, just a constant visitor felt so it's not a shadow places and in slums only stated by what the mouth 
to the mouth comes. Hunger. Food. Uh, yeah, hungry. Hunger. Nice. We got all three right. Okay. So that'll hopefully help us with what's going to happen tomorrow. So let's check out what tomorrow has. We'll put this away for now. All right. Now for Tuesdays. You desire to know about the guardians of the forest, do you? To restore your precious tree. I can tell you what I recall. However, I am unsure if they are still alive. You see, once they stopped warring amongst themselves and created the tree of seasons, they were no longer needed. And so they vanished and haven't been seen since. All right. As the owl divulges the location of the guardian, he lets out a solemn hoot. Seek the guardians, you shall, but heed this advice. The path to them is perilous, and their trust is not easily earned. Prove your worth and noble intentions by aiding those in need along your journey. Only then will the guardians consider revealing themselves to you. Nagia the serpent guardian of the white sands of stability would sooner eat you than hear your pleas. The viper's sanctum, a concealed paradise, levitates atop the arid sands, shrouded in enigma. Carquinos, the crustacean guarding the crystal waters of clarity, will crush you in its claws. In the in under in indated in the inundated river's delta, the crustacean dwells within an obscured sanctuary of silt interred beneath the aquatic veil. Aurelia, the phoenix guardian of the golden drops of divinity, is likely to take pity on your plight. The bird of fire slumbers at the zenith of the towering pinnacle, a realm where the breath of its heavens comes to a still. Thornheart, the twisted deer guardian, guarding the seed of life, might be sympathetic to your cause if you can again prove your worth. The grotesque stag answers a call in the shadow-draped forest amidst the glade of skeletal timbers devoid of life. All right, so that's a little bit of information about the guardians we're going to seek. Let's see what happens for Wednesdays. Still haven't seen a bag or a pickpocket. All right, for Wednesday, April 3rd. Well, this was fun, little one. I can no longer hide and pretend to be the peaceful owl I once was. These years of solitude in the woods have changed me. The instincts I once suppressed now rise uncontrollably. And you, my dear, look like a delectable morsel. Eldris rises from his nest, stepping into the light as you behold his familiar features. He is the very monster that haunts the lost woods in the dead of night. I kind of figured. All right. And then looks like combat. Oh, man. Engaging combat. Combat for today will operate in the following ways. Beware of the owl's terrifying presence. Use your wisdom to overcome the intimidating nature. You will make a wisdom roll to avoid frighting. D20 plus wisdom. Being frightened will make you ineffective in attacking effectively see below you will continue to repeat combat round until you have dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy you will roll to determine your opponent's damage against you for each round or i guess until we die we roll damage uh we are frightened re-roll the attack oh, so if we're frightened then we take um disadvantage which is rolled again and take the lowest all right <clears throat> we're down one hp all right, Orange Dice, you have been resummoned from your slumber to assist. Uh, let's see, how's our party holding up? Charisma. So this will only happen once per page. We have inventory, we have antidote, nimble, dex, camp, uh, meal, we have health potions. Okay. Um, all right. How much health do you have? 20 HP. Um, 
Okay, I can keep track of this. That might be better. Yeah, that'll be better. We'll use this one. All right, so first we're going to roll wisdom. D20 plus wisdom. That's a three. Uh, plus wisdom is two, so that's a five. That's not working. So D20, take the lowest for the attack. That's a six. Plus four is 10. His defense is a 12. We could add something. We don't have anything for an attack. All right, uh, so that'll miss. So now we're going to have to do a defense. D20. That's a 16. Uh, our defense is higher than the attack at 12. So if your defense roll is equal to or less than the enemy's attack, reduce your health by the... So we don't take any attack. All right. So again, wisdom save. 14 plus 2, 16. We save. So we do a normal attack. 11 plus 4 is 15. Defense at 12. We hit. So now we do damage. That's going to be a D12. That's a 2... Oh no. Um, add it to a single damage roll. I might do whirlwind for, I might save my gusts for defense. All right, so that's two. That'll bring it down to 18. And then um, if you hit and your total damage equals or exceeds, they're defeated. If the enemy is not defeated, it attacks. So it still attacks us. Okay. Mm, that's on the edge. Yeah, I have to reroll. That's a 19. All right. That's, we defend. So now we wisdom save. 11 plus two, we're safe, that's 13. Now we attack. 11 plus four is 15, defense at 12, we save. D12. That's a 12, let's go. Um, Yeah, so 12 points of damage, that brings him down to uh, six, if I do my math correctly. So now, D20. Oh, yeah, he, this is the defense roll defense 10 plus 4 is 14 his attack is 12 take no damage i'm reading that right right he attacks you if the defense roll is equal to or less than yeah it hasn't been equal to or less we're good uh wisdom save that's a three so we don't save we attack at disadvantage so a four is probably going to be our attack and a four okay plus four is eight uh we could try and do a boon to get there but i think we can take it so we miss roll a defense roll 11 plus 4 is 15 take no damage attack uh wisdom save an 8 plus 2 is 10 we could end it right here yeah i'm gonna use the boon we'll add the d4 to this roll we just need uh a one that's a three that's a three all right so we roll with normal 12 plus four to hit is 16 that hits now we roll damage two uh i could do a gust i could do a gale strike add a d4 yeah we got to try and end it we, we need a four though no we'll hold mm, no we'll hold that brings him down to four i want to save those in case i need defense rolls uh he attacks natural 20 we'll get our boon back let's go uh wisdom save four we fail so attack one is a 12 attack two is an eight so we take eight plus four is 12 his defense is 12 if your attack roll equals or exceeds so we equal so now we do damage that is a five and the owl is defeated the enemy is defeated. Once you have dealt enough damage, he retreats momentarily, screeching loudly and roughing his feathers in an attempt to compose himself before attacking once more. Seize the opportunity to escape while you can. Click D10 Amber for defeating the enemy. D10. That's eight. We'll take eight Amber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goodbye, elders. All right uh yeah that was we didn't take any damage dude tax fast and that'll bring us to thursday see what's coming up with that all right now for thursday uh for april 4th with elders distracted now is your chance to escape in the fight a stack of large crates was knocked over and now blocked the colossal stairs to the bottom floor you need to find another way out we start at x and we can go um why don't we just do, I guess we could do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just do one, two, three, four, five. See what happens. Uh, one. 
An unusually large pile of hay and straw covers the floor and will prove difficult to traverse. Uh, D20 consult athlete, which we have. All right. D20 plus athlete. 10. Uh, D20 plus constitution <clears throat> is 1 is 11 plus athlete is 13. 11 or more. You make your way through the haystack and discover two meal rations. Let's go. Okay. And then area two. A large hole in the wooden floor is open to the floor below. Um, a rope is already tied in a post to a post and dangles for you to climb down. You may stop now or continue. We want to continue exploring. Area three. A pile of broken glass is scattered across the floor. D20 plus dex. Five plus four. Four is nine. Can we re-roll a dex roll? We can. We're going to gust. We'll re-roll a dex roll. That's a 10 plus four. Much better. 14. 11 or more. You tiptoe. You carefully tiptoe, avoiding the shards of glass to discover one amber. Number four. The wood base of a support beam cracks and splinters. It begins to fall on top of you. D20 plus dex reminder danger sense which we don't have five plus four is nine uh yeah so you manage to dodge most of the falling debris escaping with minor scratches reduce your health by one not bad could be worse uh you find another set of chambers with more rusted locks you try to get past each locks in hopes of finding more of your lost travelers yeah we do D20 plus dex or strength reminder locksmith. We're definitely doing dex. 14 plus 4 18. 14 plus 4 18. Eleven or more. You un uh for 5.1. You unlock the door inside. You find a critter from the group of travelers who helped you earlier. Reduce the number of lost travelers by one. Alright, we're back at zero. So we have zero lost travelers. Nice, nice, nice. Technically, we could leave, but uh, 10 or more again. We'll lockpick another. 8 plus 4 is 12. 11 or more. You unlock the door and find an already dead critter and one amber. Let's go. And the final one. 2 plus 4 is 6. Sorry. The lock is too broken and old. All right, back to area 2. Uh, strength reminder athlete, which we have nine plus two is 11. If the result is 11 or more, you climb down the rope and find yourself near a hole where you can escape the building. Nice. And that'll bring us to Friday. So yeah, not too bad. We're getting out of there. All right. Now, because it is a new day, we are going to manually update the page abilities since normally it would do it every day, but now we have to do it manually. Uh, Friday, April 5th. You make your way toward the exit. A soft chirping sound catches your attention. Glancing over, you spot a small nest of owls. Though much smaller than Eldris, these hatchlings are not to be underestimated and seem hungry. They eye you with a hint of aggression, stumbling out of the nest towards you. Uh, be ruthless in attack or show mercy and defend yourself. We have no reason to attack them. We didn't want to attack them to begin. So we're going to show mercy and defend ourselves, I think. Yeah. Show mercy and defend yourself. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Well, you have every right to defend yourself against their attack. You hesitate to take the lives of these young creatures. Instead, you prioritize defensive actions, hoping to avoid harm while also considering their potential to learn a more moral path in the future. Minus two to attack and damage and gain a plus four to defense rolls in combat. We should be fine. All right. Fight the hatchlings. All right. Uh, the first one, 11 defense. We're going to roll attack. Seven uh, plus four is 11. We hit. Oh, minus two to attack. We miss. D24 defense. 12. Their attack is 11. We defend zero damage. The hatchling flaps its wings to disorient and intimidate you. Um, we'll roll another attack. Two. We miss. 
Uh, roll defense, 17 plus 4, 21 plus 4, 25. We defend, zero damage. The hatchling pecks at you with a sharp beak. And finally, 9 minus 2 is 7, plus 4 is 11. I think we actually hit this one. We do. Uh, so we roll attack, or damage. Gotta be high. Yeah, we deal 1 minus 2, no damage to it. So now we roll defense. 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 4 is 14. We defend, no damage. The hatchling claws at you with its sharp talons. Season the moment when you, when the fighting subsides, you swiftly dart away from battle. Um, if we brought the health down, they are clipped. They are not clipped. So we are not clipping any of these hatchlings. All right. And yeah, so that's crazy. This will bring us to Saturday. All right, so yeah, on Saturday, the 6th, dude, this owl does not want to give up. Just as you believe you've made it to safety outside the barn, Elder swoops down from the skies, screeching furiously, and launches a relentless attack with his razor-sharp talons. With the growing light, groaning, growing light, a nocturnal owl hesitates to land and attack directly, finding it challenging to see in the increasing brightness. All right, let's reset the day events. So we have to do three. Create a distraction, appear threatening, and flee. Um, all right. If you have clipped one hatchling right down from earlier, which we don't, we don't, we have no clipped any hatchlings. So. Okay, so this is choices, right? One, two, and three. We choose which one we want to do. Intellect is terrible. Strength is terrible. But we are intimidating. Constitution plus athlete. We should flee from the owl. We have a low con. But it is better than any of our other stats. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and flee from the owl. So d20 plus constitution. 10. 11. Plus athlete 13. Okay. We have a boon if we need it. Uh, You know what? Um, I don't think we need it. We'll be fine from the owl uh the result is between 7 and 13 you run steadily keeping some distance from the owl before it dives down in a sweep and claws at you reduce your health by one it's not terrible could have been a lot worse all right that'll bring us to sunday the 7th that is going to be the weekly lottery there are no backpacks or pickpockets all week but for those who remember the weekly lottery is an option we can partake in the lottery every Sunday. It's not indicated on the page. It is an optional roll where we could gain or lose amber. Each Sunday, roll a d6. So for the Sunday, we are going to roll a d6. As we have said, we're going to take part in this optional roll every Sunday. Two, lose one amber. Well, that's the one we found upstairs. All right, well, that'll do it for the week. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this format better. Uh, say goodbye to the orange dice. I uh, hope you all... I will give you a sneak peek at the dice that you will be choosing for the next week. Alright, here's a sneak peek at which dice you're going to be looking at. Uh, I'll have a more detailed images. I'll have more detailed images down below in the, uh, in the poll, as always. So, yeah, let me know if you liked this format of, of um, doing the videos. I'll do at least one more week this way if um and we'll see how people like it but yeah i may also change up how the videos look in their overall overlay and formatting but uh don't forget that we do stream every wednesday and every other sunday dungeons and dragons uh this sunday actually or i guess last sunday is uh was D D for the one idm tomb of annihilation and then Wednesday, I am a player. The reason why we haven't had any D&D &D on Wednesday is our DM is currently looking for a place to live as his he has had some issues with that. But hopefully we'll be back up soon, hopefully this week. So uh, let me know down below how you all are enjoying this. If you're playing along at home, um, tell your friends this game is awesome. But until next time... Thank you all for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. It'll let you know when I put these videos out, if they are going to be weekly. And um, as always, stay safe out there.